old Hollywood, the most glamorous and glitzy era of the film industry. There's something about this golden age of cinema that has a timeless feel. Thinking back on some of the great stars of this generation, many names come to mind. Cary Grant, Judy Garland, Lauren Bacall. But in retrospect, when we look at these actors and actresses, it seems we only know them from the characters they played. Many of these players were so good at embodying their roles, we didn't get a true sense of who they were. What were they doing when the cameras weren't rolling? In this video, we'll examine some unique shots of old Hollywood stars. Keep watching to see if your favorites make the list. Jean Harlow In the 1930s, Jean Harlow was an icon of glamour society. She always carried herself in a picturesque manner. She had prim hair, neat makeup, and was overall perfect at all times. Her breakout role was the lead in the Howard Hughes infamous film Hell's Angels. But how did she always look so good? This shot shows Harlow, like every other mortal, had to spend time in the hair and makeup department. Here, she waits patiently as one of the crew fixes her platinum blonde hair between takes. James Cagney Speaking of Jean Harlow, one of her co-stars was James Cagney in 1931's The Public Enemy. Throughout the 30s and 40s, Cagney was a go-to gangster type. This reputation came from his many roles in crime films like White Heat and The Roaring Twenties. However, Cagney was also a talented singer and dancer, as seen in Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yet his fun-loving nature was not often seen in his film noir parts. But in this shot, we see Cagney's softer side, as he embraces Jean Harlow on the set of Public Enemy. Both stars look like Hollywood royalty. Judy Garland Judy Garland had a tough run in Hollywood. Abuse from the studios led to her developing substance abuse and diet issues in her life. But for a spell, Garland was among the most talented people in the industry. Her acting and singing were always on display in films like The Wizard of Oz and A Star is Born. In this picture, Judy is taking a break between scenes in the 1940 film Ziegfeld Girl. In the film, she plays a Broadway actress who gets plenty of opportunities to show off. Perhaps the drink in her hand is to lubricate her singing pipes. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. And stick around for some more rare photos of old Hollywood. Fred Astaire Fred Astaire is seen as the gold standard for dancing on screen. The film Flying Down to Rio was among his first big films, and it began his legend in Hollywood. The film was also his first collaboration with his longtime on-screen dance partner Ginger Rogers. They starred in nine films together. In this very cool behind-the-scenes photo, Fred on the far left is collaborating on the piano with equally legendary composers Ira and George Gershwin. The trio is putting together and tweaking the tunes for the 1937 musical Shall We Dance? Lana Turner Lana Turner is a player in many legendary tales from old Hollywood. She was married eight times, but the relationship that made the biggest splash in the papers was with mafioso Johnny Stampanato. He was stabbed to death in self-defense by Lana Turner's daughter. As far as her film career, Turner was a sex symbol. She was nominated for an Oscar for her role in Peyton's Place. Here, she waits patiently in a bathtub as the crew fixes on her makeup on the set of The Merry Widow. Marlene Dietrich Marlene Dietrich came to Hollywood in the 20s from Germany. Her powerful eyes made her a success in silent films, yet she also made a move to talkies. Some of her big films were Destry Rides Again, where she worked with Jimmy Stewart and Morocco, which landed her an Oscar nomination. In this shot, Dietrich, still in costume behind the scenes, looks longingly into the distance as she enjoys a cigarette. Smoking was a look she was able to pull off gracefully both on and off camera. Laurence Olivier Laurence Olivier started his career working Shakespeare on the stage. Yet when you're as talented as he was, it's not a hard jump to the big screen. He proved his worth, too. For his work in Hollywood, Olivier was nominated for 12 Oscars for both acting and directing. He even carried his Shakespeare history to the screen. He won Best Actor for the screen version of Hamlet. In this photograph, Olivier, along with his co-star Joan Fontaine, is taking screen direction from the master of suspense, Alfred Hitchcock. This is from the 1940 film Rebecca. Considering Hitchcock was a true auteur, it's no surprise Olivier and Fontaine look to be hanging on to every piece of advice. Vivian Lee Vivian Lee was a longtime lover of Laurence Olivier. The two were involved for more than 20 years. Although Lee desperately wanted to co-star with him in the aforementioned Rebecca, she lost out to Fontaine. Yet she still had an impressive career. Among her credits are Gone with the Wind and Waterloo. However, perhaps her most iconic role is the one seen here. In this shot, she's on the set of a streetcar named Desire. She took home the Oscar for Best Actress. The photo shows Vivian Lee sharing a smoke break with co-star Marlon Brando. Jimmy Stewart Alfred Hitchcock appears in another cool photo. This time, he's conversing with Jimmy Stewart, the star of his film Rear Window. 
Stewart is going over the script as Hitch points out something to him off screen. The 1954 film is seen by many as a masterpiece of suspense and thrills. One might imagine Jimmy Stewart would stand up when talking to the legendary director, but as part of his character in the film, he's wearing a lower body cast and confined to a wheelchair. Robert Mitchum You may be wondering what actors and actresses do between takes when they aren't in makeup or talking to the directors. It seems some of them play board games. In this very cool photograph on the set of A Woman of My Own, Robert Mitchum is taking a break with a game of checkers. The Oscar-nominated actor hunches over the board, considering his next move against co-star Richard Hart. This is another interesting window into what happens on a movie set that doesn't make it into the film. Rita Hayworth Orson Welles, the mastermind behind Citizen Kane, might be one of the greatest directors to live. However, his visions were often interfered with by the studios. One film that had some interference was 1947's The Lady from Shanghai. Rita Hayworth was married to Welles at the time. From the jump, the studio was furious that Welles had Hayworth dye and cut her signature red hair to platinum blonde for the film. You can see her new hairdo in the shot here. Hayworth and Welles are sitting in each other's chairs on set. The pair turn back to look at a photographer who grabs a shot. It's a fun photo from a good film, despite the differences Wells and the studio had. Gary Cooper This may be the coolest and most iconic photograph on the list. Gary Cooper won Best Actor Oscars for his roles in Sergeant York and High Noon, but his best film might be the one pictured here. On the set of A Farewell to Arms, Cooper sits lost in a book, but not just any book. He's reading Hemingway's masterpiece of the same title, looking for inspiration between takes. It's also cool to see him still in his World War I garb in the role of the protagonist, Frederick. Lauren Bacall In her first film, To Have and Have Not, Lauren Bacall shared great screen chemistry with lead actor Humphrey Bogart. The chemistry grew further in the many films they worked on together. Among the greats were Key Largo, The Big Sleep, and Dark Passage. So natural were the two that it was no great surprise they got married in 1945. This photo on one of their films shows how much fun the two would have when rehearsing. Now it's time to hear from you. What was your favorite picture from this list? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.